All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So we are playing Buster Blade today, and I have updated the deck to the new list. As you can see, one of the cards that's actually being played in the deck as a replacement. So as you guys know, Wisdom Eye went to one, which hurt this hurt this deck. I was of course playing triple Wisdom Eye and all that great stuff. At least they got a pendulum call, but they kind of hurt. But easy fix, easy fix. All right, I lost two Wisdom Eye. Hmm. Well, uh, I mean, I lost part of my pendulum skill. What can I do? I'm already playing. Uh, uh, um, the powerful uh, uh, Skull Crobat Joker. Oh wait, there's another engine. Just fucking cancer. <laughs> fucking forever ever because like I hate you. Fucking monkey board, and of course my unicorn. Kind of scale one to eight. There you go. Done. <laughs> it's simple, right? It's so simple. It's like wow. So um, I guess I'll go ahead and have this man catch this freaking twin twister. Like definitely. Oh my god, I have so many cards that it's just like hey, I want you to discard, you know? Uh, definitely want to pop both of them with Twin Twister, but then I want to pitch for Pendulum. No, I don't need to pitch for Pendulum Call because I got Monkey who can set up my Pendulum Scales for me. But duh <laughs> So, hmm, kind of debating. I'm, I want to I wanna keep you, just in case. I want to keep you. I uh, could pitch you? No, because, no, I mean, at least you're a 27 booty. I don't know what I want to pitch. I guess I'll pitch you because I can always grab another one of you with you, so. So I'll go ahead and play that Twin Twister, pitch him like this, to pop you two. Ah, don't you just love when you just pop the fucking Toon Kingdom? It's like, get that shit out of here, fucking Toons. Alright, go ahead and activate that Monkey Board. No. Activate Monkey Board. Ah, I think this is actually the first time that I've ever used Monkey Board. Like, I think it is. Oh, well then I can just summon Skull Curve by Joker and then have Joker attack. I mean, and then Joker search for Unicorn, duh. Same thing, same thing. <laughs> Same thing, except I get an 18 uh, beater. <laughs> uh, so, like I said, this engine, like, they kind of killed it when they banned Monkey Board, but it, it's all cool. It's all good. It's all good. I guess I could get someone else. I mean, I really don't need a unicorn, but I guess I'll keep those other guys in there just in case, you know. And then I guess I could go ahead and pendulum call, pitch the unicorn, then get my magician. So, and then I'd have more beaters. So, let's go ahead and do that. I'll pitch the unicorn. Go ahead and get me destruction and. Dragon Pit, and just and just go and just go off, you know, just go off. So we're gonna go ahead and play. Oh wait, do I have to have another magician? Oh my god, I think I have to have another magician. I, mean, I think I'll be fine because he's pendulum scale four, but I think I fucked that up. Like I forgot, I totally forgot that you have to have another perform age. <laughs> I'm so bad. I've never used Monkey Boy. <laughs> uh, I'm good. Thank God I'm pendulum science and fucking sevens, right? Because holy shit, if I was summoning some, if I wanted to summon some fours, I'd just be shit out of luck. Like ah, uh, woo! Uh, I was like, wait a minute. I th for some reason, I thought he was magician, for, like Skulker by Joker. It's like, hey, you know, I'm good with magician, odd eyes, and performance. He's like, no, I'm just performance. If it's not performance, I'm only pendulum scale four. Like ah, oh, fucking idiot. And I pitch my fucking uh, my unicorn too. Like I got, I got too greedy, people. I got too fucking greedy. And because of that, now I'm gonna get punished. Mm. <laughs> Uh, do I have flare in here? I don't think I have flare. I mean, the extra deck's really tight, so I don't think I have flare. No, I don't have flare. Fuck. Like, uh, uh I kind of kept Trish. I was hoping I'd be able to bust out Trish. I still have one in sight, one score part of the Joker. I just need a level one sooner. There's fucking, uh, Trish right there, so I was kind of thinking, debating on keeping it in. I, I immediately took it out as soon as inside went to one, but I was like, oh, of course, I forgot about score card Joker. I'll be in level four. So if I get those two, both at one, maybe number generator, I could bust out the Trish, but... Ah, uh, that's, that's debatable. <laughs> that's what it really is. It's freaking debatable. Yeah, go ahead and get another fucking Toon Kingdom. I had another Toon Twister for you, big ass. Like, no. <laughs> like, fuck tunes. <laughs> I hate tunes. <laughs> so you can fucking tune it up all fucking day. Oh, Cosmic Ann, I forgot. You only have to have Toon World on your field. You don't even have to control a Toon. Like, alright. Alright, so you're gonna go ahead and make it so you can attack me directly twice with that fucking shit? Like, ah, oh, cute. Cute. See, this is the shit I don't like. Taking my monster to Snatch Deal, making it so two monsters tied directly. Your blunt ass field spell, you're not interacting with me. That's so fine, because I got another Twin Twister, so I'm just gonna hunt Twin Twister, pop these two, and then I'll attack you for game, because you will have nothing left. And then I'll be like, mmm, yummy, I win. <laughs> Winning, <laughs> Charlie Sheen style. Like, oh my god. <laughs> yep. Yep, and then Twin Twister again. Pop that. Stop. Fucking tunes are so annoying. Attack for game, I win, GG. Ah, uh, Twin Twister. How I love thee. Alright, so. Despite fucking up, uh, Monkey Boy, uh, things didn't go too terrible in that duel. So let's go ahead and get another one. Bear back. 
So, uh, I said the ban list, I mean, it hurt a couple of things, but it didn't change things too much. A couple of decks on, on Daily Duels got hurt, though. A couple, I must say. Like, especially the Earthbound Mortal Mana decks. I was run I was running that chicken game. Like, I need, I need that chicken game. So now it's kind of like, hmm, do I still run the triple terraforming with the, you know, the, the triple, uh... The, you know, triple terraforming with the triple of my uh, domain, no chicken game filler, you know, do I run a different self spell to filler? Like, I don't know, I don't know. Mm. Anyway, we are going against uh, the Burning of the Abyss. Okay, I, I guess. <laughs> you know, as you guys know, I'm not the biggest ban, biggest, biggest ban, biggest fan of this deck, just because of how fucking floaty it is. Like, uh, I don't like floaty decks, I really don't like. I, I mean, they're fun to play with, but against, nah, they suck to play against, you know? They really do. They are just a buzz fucking kill when you play against them. So this, this is a conundrum because I would love to summon my Skull Curl Joker to get searched, but I would also love to summon my companion to do that play as well, so that sucks. <laughs> but uh, I'm just kind of questioning what I want to do right now, really. I mean, if I had Buster Blader, I'd probably do a play, but I don't really have Buster Blader right now, so... Let's see, I can special summon Buster Blader from my hand right there. If I summon him, get to search. I'm trying to think. Alright, summon him, search for the, the, the Destruction Sword. Twin Twister, pitch him, pop that back row. Should be off, summon Buster Blader from my graveyard because he counts Buster from my graveyard. Equip, unequip. Synchro, summon back. Lock him out of the extra deck. Like, I think I might be able to okay. No, because Farfa. I was like, no, because Farfa. No, no, because I could just attack the Farfa. Like, alright, so we'll go ahead and do that. So first, we gotta go ahead and summon Companion. So if you wanna Fire Lake me, or Great Grand, Grand Horn me, or whatever, I don't care. No. Like, you can have that thing when I'm at it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my search. So I'm about to twin twist that back row. That one piece of back row, but that one piece of back row could be the difference between me getting Fire Laked or all that. And then, of course, I wanna get my Destruction Sword in the graveyard, because he kept his Buster Blair while in the graveyard as well. So we're gonna go ahead and play that Twin Twister, pitch him. We're only one set pop, which is fine, and it was as I thought, it was fucking Horn of Heaven. Uh, go ahead and activate my effect, trip myself off the sword and back, Buster Blade from my graveyard. Then I can go ahead and equip my companion to this Buster Blader. I'm gonna equip my companion to the Buster Blader. Say so what, you got like an effect veil or maxi or something? Like, you should have done that a long time ago if you had one. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get much use out of Fegra. I mean, I, I should be able to uh, lock him out of the extra deck, which seems pretty good. Go ahead and go into my Synchro. See, Bills would be pretty good too, because he can't he can't fucking deal with Bills, but I'm about to lock him out of the extra deck, so that's all good and fine and dandy as well. Go ahead and go into my Dragon. And activate my effect. Summon back my Buster Blader. I guess I'll go ahead and attack it to the Farfa. Oh, no, he had Ghost Ogre Snow Rabbit. Alright, well, that sucks. That sucks. Fucking Ghost Ogre Snow Rabbit. Ugh. Oh, that really sucks. I was kinda... I, I had a play there and he kinda fucked me with it, so... That sucks. I mean, I guess. I mean, it really doesn't matter because you're just gonna activate Farfun and banish me anyway, but damn. Goddamn Ghost Ogre Snow Rabbit. Like, ah. Uh, as you guys know, I do not like floaty ass decks and right now there are some floaty ass fucking decks we have fucking ba and phantom knight and pk fire i guess if you want to cut that separate or not i don't know but god damn we have some floaty ass shit right now oh and it is pk fire oh i don't want to do against pk fire this deck is so fucking powerful like look at that scar burning like this this is right here not since draco pals is gone this right here is the most powerful deck like i'm trying to figure out what i can fucking do like, holy shit. Like, no, Dante's gonna go for 25. Surge's gonna get his effects. Garm's gonna get a Surge. Fent like, look at this floaty ass shit. Like, PK Fire is just so fucking good. So much graveyard utility. Like, ah! God, definitely the best deck. Like, fuck Draco Pals. They're gone. They're gone. It's fine, though. But, God, like. Yeah, boots. The trap card are good. The. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Can tell me what you guys think. In the comments below, tell me what you guys think. I say that Burning Abyss is different than, like, Burning Abyss is different than, okay, so, what does it say, uh, Jordan's sponsor, blah, 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 you can target, 
Surrounded by battle, the card effect is that I can target one of those monsters, equip it, and once per turn, I can send one of those equipped monsters to destroy on pumps monsters that control the same fucking type. She's a fairy. There's really no point in me equipping because I guess I could pull out the fart, the the scarm, and maybe hold on to it. Because I don't see him attacking over me right now, unless he has some kind of play. Unless he's probably gonna just go ahead and crash into me and then summon Dante, who I can't target, and then crash into me again. And I probably don't have a uh, response to that. Uh, I guess I can make. Oh wow, he's just gonna end his turn. Like, interesting, interesting. Well, I guess he can go ahead and spot banish me. That would that would suck. <laughs> that would suck like crazy. Just spot banish me. Like, mm. so I can go ahead and. Uh, Normal summon Skull Curbat Joker, get a search. I'm trying to think if that's what I want to do right now. I can pendulum call too. Cause that spot banish with uh with uh with uh, Beatrice sending like a farfa would definitely hurt. Boots I'm trying to think what I wanna pull off right now. Do I have any good sync aids? Not really. Not really. Uh I can make a odd eyes, I can make big eye, I can make a couple of things. I'm just trying to think if I want a normal summon skull crit. I guess I'll get a plus because I'm not I mean the only thing else I was gonna normal summon is my effect veiler, which I'm probably not gonna get much use out of. Like probably not. I'll go ahead and get monkey board, monkey board, get me unicorn, unicorn, pendulum scale. I guess I'll hold on to my pendulum call for right now. And it's like, when it's destroyed by battle by card effect, I think it resolves in the graveyard, so I think even if I die and take it, I think he would still go ahead and get uh, Beatrice, which would suck ass, because dealing with that wouldn't be nice at all. So I'll go ahead and play that, then I can go ahead and Pendulum Summon you. I could go into like a big eye or something. I don't have a lot of... S I don't have a lot. But I guess it's better than doing nothing. I still have a Pendulum Call, so... In a shit hits the fan, I still have play. I believe that Skarm is going to hit the graveyard, which means that he is going to get the search there. Oh, he's going to quit. Woo! He's going to quit? What? Like, dude, you're playing PK fucking motherfucking fire. You got floating for days. Like, oh, I guess. All right. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> All right. Ah, easy fix. Easy fix. Just throw these in here. Fucking uh, Forever Epic may hate me, but, I mean, it's working, right? <laughs> All right, get another duel and bear back. All right. Another duel. This is, this is working out pretty well. I mean, it sucks that his Ghost Ogre Snow Rabbit stopped me in my tracks. But I guess, I mean, Emergency Teleport only went down to two, so why not throw her in there for most uh, Emergency Teleport shenanigans? Right? 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 Uh, I need my Pendulum Scales, because there's so many one-card Pendulum Scales, like Monkey Board and the Pendulum Call. Fucking, like, you really didn't do too much. Ooh, Blue Eyes deck! Ooh, Buster Blader! It is time! It is time! This is what we've been waiting for! This is what we've been waiting for, man. All right, so send yourself to summon a blue eyes from the hand. That's fine. Like you're kind of going off right now. Like, all right, go ahead and turn that into, of course, hope. That's fine. Hope you're dragon too. You are. You are. So oh, literally, all I have to do is summon a fucking Buster Blader, and then I can tack over hope. Like. Like, Buster Blade, you were made to take out Blue Eyes, weren't you? Like, you pretty much, I mean, 2600 gain to 500 attack, you were made to fucking take out Blue Eyes. Like, let's go. Let go. <laughs> um, I can literally do everything. I can summon, get my search, uh, probably my quick play spell. I mean, his shit's all already dragons anyway, right? Tribute off, summon Buster Blade, equip, well, attack over first, because I need attack over, so he doesn't gain my spell. Attack over. Uh, equip, unequip, synchro, summon back, and, uh... Equip during my uh, main phase, uh, uh, during his turn, during his turn. Equip the this guy. So, yes sir! Give my quick play spell. This way I could fuse with your shit during your turn. Like, ah. Ah, uh, <laughs> crud. Ah. Mm. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, mm. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Perfect. I was waiting. This is what we've been waiting for, people. This is what we've been waiting for in daily duels. Finally, a fucking dragon deck. Quit. Ah, don't quit. I was doing plays. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> mm. <laughs> All right, we'll get another duel. Bear back. All right, another duel. 
Ah, uh, that was too perfect. That was too fucking perfect. Ah, uh, thank God that I went, that he went first, because I generally don't like going first with this deck. I think he made me go first, didn't he? Ugh. I have played, but I don't think I'm gonna hold off for right now. I'm gonna hold off. Especially, I need a level one tuner. If I got a level one tuner. It's ball rolling. We got a whole bunch of sevens though. Whole bunch of sevens. I can pendulum call, pitch a Buster Blade, or get more. Pendulum summon, jump the shit out of you. Like, mm. actually, you know what? Not since uh, I'm going fucking second. Give me that twin twister. Pop that back rub. Then go in. Like, yeah, yeah, buddy. <laughs> like, please give me that fucking twin twister. <laughs> oh, it's black wings. Oh, ew. Yeah, uh, not the biggest fan of that. Yep. Shouldn't you summon that in attack mode and attack me with it? Shouldn't you summon that in attack mode and attack me with it? I don't know with black ones. Whenever I do them, they always jump the living shit at me. It's never just simply just normal. It was like summon Bora, summon Gale, summon Chris, summon Bora, summon this, summon that, drink with this, do that. Like, like oh, now you're using Rage Raptor's card too? Like, really? Really? That's not even necessary. I kind of would have just stuck with my chops. I thought I would have. I mean, I guess there's really no point in sync that. I would attack with all this first. Like, Gale in attack mode, Chris in attack mode, Born in attack mode, tack, 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 everybody get it and drop two Kalut and fucking game you, but I guess, yeah, I guess he wanted to do this first, so I'll go ahead and search for a Bora, then special summon Bora, then. Why are you, why are you in defense mode? Like, why are you so defensive? You don't even know what I'm playing. Like, you should be on the offense. I literally did nothing my first turn. Like, going to Armor Master, like, what are you doing? Like, okay, I guess. I could, I could make a big eye and take that. Like, I'm just hoping that this isn't fucking Icarus attack or something. There's a lot of things that I hope this isn't, to tell you the truth. There's a lot of fucking cards that I hope this isn't. Alright. Pendulum Call Pitch. It could be a Solemn Strike. I have a Solemn Strike in that game, obviously. I'm Pendulum Summon, go balls deep with all my Pendulum Summon to get stricken. Like, no, thank you. That didn't search you too. Oh, I can pitch the pot. I totally forgot I can do that. Like, and he can't pop my Pendulum Scales this turn? Like, nice. Nice. <laughs> oh. Go ahead and play you. Go ahead and play you. Hmm. Kind of wondering. I'll probably just search my companion with you. Because you're you're nice to search. Uh, we can go ahead and activate you, pitch you, pop you, just in case you're a strike. Pendulum Summon you two. Pitch you, pop that, because fuck your Icarus or Strike, even if it's Icarus Attack, but my Pendulum Scales can't be cracked right now. It was Icarus Attack, fucking, they always fucking get it whenever I duel against a fucking deck like this. Always. Fucking always. Get my search. Um, like I said, I'm gonna get my companion. I might, I might, I'm thinking about maybe just going into Scarite. Scarite. I'm Scarite, right? Yeah, Scar right. Destroy all effect monsters that are special. What is it like? Destroy many special summon effect monsters in the field as possible to attack less than equal to this guy. Which just means that I'd be destroying my destruction. But he would go back to the extra deck anyway, so that's all good. That's good. That's good. So, go ahead and Pendulum summon you two. So, it really doesn't matter who I use to do this play, so. Oh, I can go and do it. I only run one in here anyway. <laughs> I was like, I was like, wait, am I only one, one, running one in here? There's only one in here anyway, so that, that limited didn't do shit. Uh, like I said, it really doesn't matter who I go into. Nah, it doesn't matter, because I'm using my effect anyway. Scar it. Activate my effect. Blow up, you take 15. And then smack you in the face with 3,000. Ah, damn. Damn, why is Daily Bill so good today? Like, ugh. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Easy fix. I was like, insight to one? No! Buster Blade! Never mind. <laughs> like, you literally just gave me the incentive to just throw in fucking uh, Monkey Board and my unicorn, because why the fuck not? <laughs> like, damn, this man, he went so in, but he got blown the fuck back. Alright, well, I'm about to get blown the fuck back. Might have been best if I would have searched for a Fang Veiler instead of Companion, but it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Is this another Icarus attack? Because he's obviously about to go into Nuthong and then drop me down to 22, so. You know, Nuthong has just been so played lately as a sync 8 for, for Black Wings that I kind of forgot that Armwing even this is like, if you guys aren't watching my, oh shit. Okay, do you have a special summon? Okay, you're gonna cut me in half, which means I'll be 15. Then what? You're both tuners. Like, do you got another special summon? That was dumb. That was dumb. No, that was bad. That was bad. 
you should have summoned a level four and went into nothing. Then attack over. Like, why would you summon Gale to cut me in half? Now you have two tuners. Like, <laughs> no, 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 no. That was that was that was a no, no. That was that was bad. That was really bad. <laughs> Now I can just go ahead and activate, and it's like, can only he attack? Or it doesn't matter. No, it's not like Conrad. So, let's go ahead and wipe you, because I'm about to go ahead and, uh, and, uh, sink nine. I don't do that often in this deck. Unless you want to play Icarus attack, in which case, go ahead, I don't care. I can just pend on some of these two and attack you directly for game, so. Solemn Warning, that's not the appropriate card to be playing right now, but that's fine, so. We'll just go ahead and pend on something back my destruction. Uh, Gen Key Mag Magician Summon Tap Tap game. Like, mmm. Mmm. That was not <laughs> the appropriate play at all. Uh, but whatever. Whatever. Daily Duel is not I'm not here on Daily Duel to teach people how to play you again. I feel like another duel. One more duel. One more duel. Be right back. Alright, we're back. Uh, we're reversing Yuho. I do not believe that there's any main character or anybody named Yuho. I hope there's never one, or especially the main protagonist named Yuho. Like, this for goodness sake, you already get made fun of playing this game called yu gi ho And then you're gonna fucking name the main character Yuho? Like, oh, come on. Like, Yuho? You, you, Yuho? I'm like, no. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> alright. Very Magician Girl. I have no idea what this fucking deck does. <laughs> I've never faced this Magician Girl deck. I... I've seen cards of it, and I've seen they get new cards. I've never seen it. So this card is not someone you can have a magician girl deck to your hand once returned during either player's turn when this card is targeted for an attack or a card effect. You can change the battle position. You do special summon a magician girl from your deck. <gasps> okay, so it's kind of like um, Maiden. Interesting. Interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and search for Apple Magician Girl. Alright, once the turn when this card is targeted for an attack, you special summon level 5 or higher spell cast a monster from your hand, change the attack to that, and if you do have the attack in the monster, discard it shot at battle, but caught effect, you target the three magician girls, monsters with different names you grab it, add them to your hand. Ooh! Ooh! Add them to your hand? That's power. That's power. Okay. Well, I think I might just jump you. I keep on drawing like you and then you, and then I'm just like, I don't know what to fucking do. Like Planes are all good. They really are. They really are. I think I'll just go ahead and do this play. I don't want to reveal my hand too much, so I'll go ahead and do the... Wait, no, because I don't have Buster Blader in my hand. I could probably draw into Buster Blader. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Because he's not counted as Buster Blader. He's only counted as Buster Blader on the fill in the grave and things that I can't attribute to summon Buster Blader. I don't have Buster Blader. I think they changed the card out of this, cleaned it up or something. Like, this looks different. I think they actually cleaned it up, because I think it was one of those cards that was like all fuzzy like Sage, so they cleaned up the card art. That looks nice, that looks nice. I, might, I could possibly get some use out of this, like I have a destruction card. I'm probably going to go ahead and go off, I kind of need a Buster Blader though, like I kind of need a Buster Blader. So I'll go ahead and grab you and then set up my Pendulum Scales. So yeah, I'll go ahead and set you to uh, Pendulum Summon you, uh, then Sink in the Six, Summon you back, like yeah. Despite me really wanting to go off off this turn, I think I'm just gonna have to settle with just Pendulum Summoning. I'm gonna go ahead and Pendulum Summon. Just you. Don't summon Skull Crab Bad Jack. That'd be terrible. Like, number dinner is strong with this. Like, I'm either drawing Joker or Monkey Ward. Like, shit. Like, I guess the other one, you really can't say much in, like, you know, Yu Gi Oh! Yu Gi Oh! But right now, it's not bad. So, he blocks an attack. I don't need a player's turn. This card is targeted for an attack or your opponent's card effect. Change the battle position if you do special summon one magician girl from your deck. So I can go ahead and target you for an attack. I'm thinking about doing something odd. I really am. Think about summoning you in attack mode. You summon back my Buster Blader. You go ahead and attack you. You turn to defense mode, summon the magician girl. Then Buster Blader, the other guy, attack, take you, unequip you, and blow you up. Like it will require you because I need to attack you twice, right? Because don't you negate the attack? This card is targeted attack. Change the battle position if you do special. I don't think you negate the attack. Oops, turn during your player's turn. This card is targeted for an attack or effect. You can change the battle position of this card if you do so in addition to go. Yeah, you don't block the attack like Maiden. I was thinking, I was trying to handle you like Maiden, but it doesn't look like you block the attack like Maiden. So. So, I guess I'm in my, uh. 
My Buster Dragon, Buster Dragon summon back that Buster Blader, attack you, you'll do a defense summon a Magician Girl, I'll attack you, kill you, take you, and then main phase two, just blow up all spellcasters on the field, because fuck you, that's why. Looks like my opponent has a response now, you want to throw the Suck Veiler at me or something like that, or the Ghost Ogre Snare at me, that would kind of hinder my plans, like definitely, it would hurt, it would hurt. <laughs> Because I can't do too much with Skullcrab at Joker. If, I, if only I didn't use Unreal Summon for this, I could have used it for this. Like, these two, these, are, these two, they're really great. They're both great in their own ways. They're conflicting because they both want my normal summon. They both want my normal summon. That sucks sometimes. Then, uh, I'll have Buster Blader on my field still. Go ahead and equip this, lock you out of the extract. Is it from my hand? Target one Buster Blader and go. No. So I'd have to equip it with its own effect. I could go to another sink eight. I think this attacks only once per turn, though. I could go into a sink nine. I could go into Do You Feel the Bliss. Like, what the fuck are we waiting for, you ho? Hey, you ho, come on! Like, I feel like I'm insulting you. Like, hey, you ho, but your name is you ho, so. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, and then he's just gonna go ahead and leave. Like, alright. Uh, one more duel. Bear back. Alright. I mean, I, I was really about to smack that bottom, but he left, so that's fine. Uh... Which scale are you? You're eight. You're set. You're eight. You're eight. Like all I got is my scale eight. That sucks. Ugh. This is not looking good. And DDDs too. Like ew. You DDD. Nah, I'll leave like that. Cause I know how powerful Kepler is getting you that dark contract. So no. If you already have it, then more power to you. But no. A number generated one for one pitch. Like no, thank you. Yeah, I did not open up well. Not 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 well enough to fucking duel against DDDs. Definitely not. Yep. Some that. Then have then do Necro Slime. Fuse again. Then have Copernic. Oh, never mind. Night Howling. All right, it's all the same. Like I said, I just need some way to deal with this fucking field, and I might be able, might be okay. All right. What are you doing? I mean, you back. Well, I guess you're still a tuner, so. But who are you guys thinking to? Nothing. You're just gonna leave it like that. That's disgusting. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's disgusting. Like, no, I wouldn't have done that. Like, what is what is this field? But hey, it can't be any worse than my fucking field. So who's a threat? He's only when his normal summoned. You're not. You're not doing anything. You're not doing anything. You. I can't kill you. You. I would like to kill you. Cause, just, cause fuck you. Like really. Like, I don't like what he did here. So I think I might go ahead and. Summon you, get a destruction sword card, because I, well, I have to get a destruction card, and then pitch it for my trap card. I'm guessing I'm gonna go ahead and get my Buster Blader guy, so I can use my trap card for next turn. Like, it's just, I didn't open up well at all. Like, holy crap. If I would opened up even half decent. That Veiler helped, though. That Veiler definitely helped. So, you're not a threat. Actually, I like you on the field in the graveyard. Actually, you might be the biggest threat of all, because you're a tuner. Uh, the monster, does it ever get into sec that, uh, attack that? Doesn't it do the monster, defense become, as attacks kind of blah, 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 zero, okay. That monster's destroyed, you take a thousand damage. You know, I activate special summon monsters, like, you're useless, you're still a beater, but, like, seriously, I don't see you being able to summon another DVD, unless you draw one and special summon it with Swirl. Uh, you're not in the graveyard, so you're not a threat. Uh, yeah, that kind of say you are you, but... It's a turn destroys plus okay. I kinda wanna just get rid of you because you're a tuner. But then you're an eight. So you could make it possibly some really percussions for you being eight. If you were a, if you if you were able to synchro summon, you would have done something before, so. Damn, I'm so mad I opened up so fucking terrible. Like all I needed was just a lower scale. Like we have so many lower scales and we would have been fine. Any lower scale and I would have been able to go off this turn, but instead, been drawn to the lower scale, so. Forgot about her. Didn't think you were gonna. I didn't actually. I didn't even think that she was in the fucking extra deck. To tell you the truth, didn't think that. So definitely should have killed a one. <laughs> definitely, I should have killed something. Kind of caught me off guard because I thought if you were gonna do that, you would have done it last turn. But oops. That's all I gotta say about that. Just I. I know when I played DDs, I didn't play so in Princess. Because I didn't think my level one's gonna be on the field like that, but <sighs> fuck me, I guess. Just fuck me. I'm glad I opened up so fucking garbage against this bad DDD player. Like DDDs take so much fucking skill. One of the most skillful decks in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, and I'm gonna lose. And I might possibly lose, not because he's good, but because I opened up like shit. Like, ugh. 
That's, that, that brings a bad taste in my mouth. I should have just discarded the special summon a Buster Blade. I don't even know why I didn't do that. Oh, because I wanted to survive this attack, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess that's fine. I can go ahead and pitch summon a Buster Blade and might be able to do something next turn, especially if I draw into a uh, into a level one tuner. Like, that's all I need is a level one tuner. Cool, got a level one tuner. That would have been probably nice last turn, but go ahead and pitch you. Summon that powerful Buster Blader. Go ahead and normal summon that effect there. Go ahead and summon my. Oh, I could go into fucking uh, Scar Right and fuck all of this up. Like, mmm. So fucking tempting. Just to blow this man out of the fucking water. Like, I think I might do it. All of these are special summoned, right? Well, I think this is still normal summon, but. Yeah, you know what? We'll go for it. We'll go for it. I was thinking about going into my Synchro Monster, but we'll go for it. Oh, of course it's Solemn Strike. Of course it is. Of course he fucking top decked into that. Son of a bitch. He literally top decked in that shit. Like, wow. Like, am I literally gonna lose? It looks like I'm gonna lose this duel because my opponent gets lucky and top decks into everything. Like, he he's bad, but he opened up well. I opened up like shit, and then I get sacked by fucking Strike. Why isn't this card at one? Like... Literally, it stops any inherent summon and any monster effect. Like, bullshit. Nice top deck. Nice top deck. Oh my god. Holy shit. Ugh, sucks. So you can just attack over me and attack. Like, strike? 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 Strike. I made. I made. I'm made by myself. What? My myself? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. But no, you didn't. Like, you just top deck and strike. If you didn't, if you didn't have that strike, I would have blew your fucking nipples back with fucking Scar Right. Like I would have been the Scar Right and blew. He, he would have been dead. He would have been dead. She would have been dead. That would have been dead. Tack over that. Like, you already used your next slime. Like, you would have pretty much been top decking at that point. I would have killed this. But no, no, you get top deck strike. I mean, like you say, it's at three, right? Any target Konami, why didn't you limit that shit? I mean, he would probably drew it even better because it's a number generator, but still, like, what the fuck? Why'd you that card at three? Counter trap that for 1500 life points stop any inherent summon or any monster effect. But yeah, 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 totally deserves to be at three. Bottom list, and, I mean, fucking Capulse, bounce back a monster and take an and take a neg on resources unless you bounce back an extra deck. No, Book of Moon, the ultimate neg, the skill, skill very skillful card, ultimate neg, Book of Moon. No, Ring of Destruction is barely anybody plays. No. Nah, all those cards, they definitely gotta be at one. They're way too bulky. But strike, nah, nah, strike. It's probably like one of the worst things on the ban list. Like strike, pantheism. If those two would have got hit, I would have given the list would have been like way up or higher. Like I'm still mad about Norton not being banned. Cause that's gonna just gonna be crazy. It's just gonna be like, like, like I get. It. You don't like the cookie cutter shit. You're like, it, it's so simple. You throw th triple upstart. I mean, it probably has influence on the whole, you know, OTKs and stuff, but. You gotta admit, fucking ultimate fucking cookie cutter shit, throwing triple upstarts in your deck, 37 card deck, right? You know, you hate that cookie cutter shit. But literally, you're like, hey, everybody, drew triple insta fusion, one Norton, and 1,000 Irish Strict. Everybody do it, everybody do it, ah! And essentially what you're saying. So now you make insta fusion the cookie cutter shit. So what, next list we're gonna have to put insta fusion down to one, two? Insta fusion, fucking 1,000 Irish Strict, and Norton all the one next list? Like, what the fuck are we doing? What the fuck are we doing not hitting strike, not hitting pantheons? I'm fucking retarded. Like, uh, I'm just so mad that I lost to the shit because he's bad. Like, this was not good. Like, none of his DD plays were good. He happened to be running into this princess bitch that no one fucking runs, which means that he could fucking detach the slime, get it in the graveyard, top deck into fucking foolish to send fucking the, like, the plays that he did. The plays that he did were just so fucking luck-based. Like, he wasn't good. It was just talking about that. And then draw into fucking Solemn Warning. To Solemn Strike to fuck me up when it's my turn to play. And I open up with this. Like, what is this? What is this? But hey. Hey, who said that Yu-Gi-Oh is all based on luck? Oh, no. It's obviously based on some, some luck. Some luck. You know, it's not all skill. It's luck. It's a card game, right? Alright, I'm done ranting because I'm just mad that I lost to this fucking shitty ass DD player. Like, I'm mad. Because I should have beat his ass. Because this deck is not a deck that you could just be fucking just bad with. You know, it actually takes a lot of skill, and that was not no skill, but hey, wait, who needs skill when you got luck, right? Alright, I'm done, I'm done. Anyway, easy effects, uh, the deck is still fine. It sucks that I just didn't draw into any of my other skills. I would just drew into a lower skill. 
You know, there's so many other cards that could have drew it too. And it's just like, god damn it. Fake Veiler came in handy, but it just really wasn't the card that I needed. <sighs> I'm gonna go ahead and call it an episode, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. Uh, like I said, uh, suggestions will be up, so you guys go ahead and suggest, and then uh, then polls, go ahead and vote. We don't need another month of uh, Buster Blader, so I'm just going to say that right now. So if you plan on voting for Buster Blader and polls, you really don't need to. It's been two months, and I got the gist of the deck. It, I, this is pretty much the pinnacle version of the deck. It's really fun. It's a really good deck, and I, I had a lot of fun with it for these last couple of uh, two months. It went from I have no idea what I'm doing, and then learning more things, learning more things, to the point where it's just like, all right, all right, I got this, I got this. So... Anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for your support, and I will see you guys tomorrow uh, tagging using them dark conditions. Alright people, thanks for watching.